Hi, in this video, I will be demonstrating the directional flow feature in RTC SEM component. To start with, I have created a new workspace called Demo Workspace and four new streams called Demo Stream 1 to Demo Stream 4. All the streams and the workspace have two components called Component 1 and Component 2. If you take a look at the flow target section, you see three new columns called flow direction, current and default. The flow direction column indicates whether the workspace can accept and or deliver changes to this flow target. The current column indicates that the flow target is the current target and the default column indicates that the flow target is the default flow target. Let us add a flow target to the workspace. If you notice, all the columns have the text incoming and outgoing which is a state when the first flow target is added. The flow target is set as the current and default incoming and outgoing flow target. Let us track the workspace in the pending changes view. Before that, let me save the changes. Now dragging the workspace into the pending changes shows the flow target as was in the earlier versions of the product. Let us go ahead and add three more streams as the flow target. Let us make one of the flow targets as the current and default outgoing target. This is the new dialog that is that allows the user to set whether the flow is incoming, outgoing or both. Saving the workspace, you, as you can see the pending changes have been updated. The demo stream 1 is shown as the incoming flow target and the demo stream 2 is shown as the outgoing flow target. You can also set the flow target using the pending changes view. The change flow target dialog has been updated to be able to set the flow direction. Let us select demo stream 3 as the incoming flow target. As you can see, the incoming flow target of the workspace has been changed to demo stream 3. Now let us set the outgoing flow target to demo stream 4. Similarly, the outgoing stream of the workspace has been changed to demo stream 4. You can also set the flow target of the component using change flow target. The change flow target dialog here has a new option to set the flow target to match the workspace, the repository workspace flow target. We can also change the flow direction of the targets. Let's change one of them to incoming and the other one to outgoing. This means that you can only accept from demo stream 3 and deliver to demo stream 4. Let us change the pending changes view to show all the targets. Go to preferences and set the preference option to show all. We'll update the pending changes view. Component 1, since it's the flow direction is incoming and outgoing, you can see demo stream 1 is shown with both arrows pointing to it. But if you look at demo stream 3, it is only incoming. Outgoing is flowing to itself, that's the workspace itself. So it's only you can accept from demo stream 3. Similarly, demo stream 4, you can only deliver to demo stream 4 and not accept from it. That's all I had in this demo.
Thank you for watching this demo. For more information, visit jazz.net.